You're watching the best show in Eastern Europe. We visit the best reviewed establishments in the former Soviet Union and with the help of our annoying challenges, we test the mental strength of the staff to see if the place is really worth its rating. Dmitry, I'm not going to repeat it again. We can't have any more problems with the Romanian Mafia. He saw it. He's a witness. Just put a bomb under his car and problem solved. <laughs> Hello! Long time no see, comrades! Welcome back to the best show in the former Soviet Union! We went to Slovakia, Czech Republic, Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's time to take things into a whole new level. And I mean it! This is gonna be one hell of a ride! So sit back, pour some vodka and enjoy another episode of our Pliatipo show! To kick things up a notch, we had to visit my cameraman's house. Vladimir shares his home with his 47-year-old mother, Irina. The crowning jewel in this alcoholic's home is Anastasia, a fortune-telling chicken. She is so popular that the entire village seeks her advice. We're about to use Anastasia's hidden powers to get to the best places in former Soviet Union and try our annoying challenges there. We just need to know the country. We filled 10 plant pots, each representing a Slavic country we haven't visited yet, with seeds and other shit chicken eat to make Anastasia's job easier. We have Belarus, Bulgaria, Croatia, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Poland, Serbia, Slovenia, Russia and Ukraine. I cannot wait to find out where our next destination lies, but before that let me emphasize that this video cost us a lot of energy, time and money. Therefore, we partnered with a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. This may be the world's most addictive RPG game. I was like, okay, let's check it out, I'm not into this, I don't play mobile games, but I can't stop, it's actually enjoyable. And now you can play this fantasy game not only on your phone, but also on your desktop. What I enjoy about Raid are the dungeons and the gradual improvement of the champions. As you pass the dungeons, your champions level up, you get money, you can upgrade their weapons and armor, and they become stronger. But that's just a small part of what you can do in the game. You can fight in campaigns, participate in faction wars, or challenge other players in the arena. And now the highly anticipated battle pass is on. Season 1 is live and you can win awesome rewards including energy refills, gems, artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. You get free rewards by just basically playing the game. Go to the video description, click on the special links and if you are a new player you will get 100,000 silver plus one free champion, Hexweaver. Hexweaver? Yeah. She's hot. Alright. Good luck comrades and see you there! My nickname is Peter Warhammer. I'm very original. All right, Anastasia is ready. They haven't fed her for over a week, which is exactly what we wanted. She's on the verge of dying, hungrier than ever, ready to tell us where to find happiness and the best Soviet places. Anastasia, let's eat. Come on, you haven't eaten for over a week. Anna, yes. Good stuff, don't be shy. Ivan was shy, we remember that. Anastasia, don't be shy, you haven't eaten for a week. Anna, come, you're not interested in Soviet culture. So, what's it gonna be? She's so shy. Poland! She picked Poland! I love you, we're going to Warsaw, Krakow, watch Poznań, all the best Polish places, Anastasia, oh look how hungry she is, that's a good hen, that's a good Soviet hen, hungrier than ever, she's not gonna die, maybe we will eat her, who knows, we're hungry as well, but the thing is, the most important, the crucial thing is, 
We are going to Poland! Oh, look, you hungry motherfucker! Comrades, let's go to Poland! All right, Anastasia, may her soul rest in peace, picked Poland. So let's find the best reviewed hotel in this former Soviet country. <laughs> Haven't done this for a while, but it's still the same. TripAdvisor, Poland, hotels. Ooh, a lot of options here. Let's check them all. And I'm happy to tell you that the best reviewed hotel that's unfortunately going to accommodate us is named B15 Boutique Hotel and it's in the capital, Warsaw! Ooh, we're going to Warsaw! Hmm, well this looks nice. A typical high-class hotel. What is interesting is that this hotel is a former Soviet embassy. Wow, that, that's a strong sign. Thank you, Anastasia. I suppose there's not gonna be anything bad in their reviews, but... So I suppose there's not gonna be anything bad in their reviews, but let's still check why is Hotel B15 Boutique the best one in Poland. Absolutely lovely hotel. Impeccable, incredibly helpful staff who pride themselves in their work. Brilliant customer service. I had one of the best experiences with hotel stays during my time in Warsaw. Magdalena from the front desk made sure I had all my queries answered over emails and she made sure all the arrangements for the trip was done. Excellent hotel, kind service, big and luxurious rooms. The hotel has a high class chef's restaurant located on a quiet side street and close to many cafes and good restaurants. We really enjoyed our stay, no doubt I'll be back. Everything seems to be perfect here. Oh, they don't know what's waiting for them. It's gonna be fucking ridiculous and embarrassing. <laughs> I love my job. Okay, let's book one night here. We don't want some stinky junior suit. We want a superior junior suit. It costs 159 euros. This is exactly why we have a sponsor. Special request. This is when our evil master plan begins. I'm still not gonna tell what we're about to do in this hotel, but what I'll write here may give you a little hint. We would like the room to be very dark at night with no crosses on the walls and no traces of garlic. I fucking love my job. The room's booked, let's go to Poland. I'm very excited and scared. And they should be too. Vladko, tak čo? Kúpil si nejaké to a to, čo som ti hovoril včera? No, a je v dobrom stave, lebo že nemôžeme ísť s nejakou rachotinou otrasnou do najlepšie hodnoteného hotela. No a čo si kúpil? Aspoň Bavoráčika alebo Audinu? To piči, Vlado, tebe už úplne jebe na tú tvoju gebulu prepitu. Čo? To čo si kúpil za kokotinu? Auto roku 2002. A to kde v hračkárstve? No ty gura z malacek. 30 litrov som ti dal! Za toto si 30 tisíc vyjebal! Sa pohyť do nutra. Do samého rána Kým nám hudba bude hrať Ty budeš moja dáma A my budeme tancovať Až do samého rána kým nám hudba bude hrať, ty budeš moja dáma. Savone Romenge! Satan, tu si so mnou, devča mu dobe, Cześć! Hello from Warsaw. I have to admit it's a beautiful city, but we're not here to admire the buildings. We're here to shoot the craziest shit. I've ever done on this channel. You're probably asking why are we a bit pale? Well, let me answer that for you. Yes, your deductive skills are amazing. We're vampires. 
As ridiculous as this may sound, we will try to make this as believable as possible. We've prepared a series of gradually increasing challenges that will test the hotel staff's patience. Everything that we'll do is legal, not dangerous, and supposed to show if the hotel is worthy of the first place in its country. To start, we colored our skin with white makeup, put fake blood on our shirts, and got ready to get inside the heads of everyone working in this former Soviet embassy. We're standing in front of H15 Boutique Hotel, the best reviewed hotel of this 40 million country. Let's see how they cope with two vampires and their bloody challenges. Uh, we're starting in a very subtle way with pale faces and a little bit of blood on our shirts just to give the receptionist the impression that there may be something wrong with us. God help us. No, 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 definitely not God. Vampires hate crosses. Vladimir, the camera's yours. Hi. We have a reservation here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have an ID here. here as well? It's one room. Yeah, it's one room. One room. Yeah, mm -hmm. for so two people. Thank you very much. Okay. It's welcome. for one night. It's super. You're doing yes. a suite without breakfast, and it's paid already. Yeah, exactly. And may I have your credit card, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you. Your first time in Warsaw? Yeah, yeah. first time. For holidays. Beautiful or? city. <laughs> yeah, we have a private event here. Oh, already? Yeah. We working. I see. Just working. I uh, typed a very special request mm -hmm. on booking.com. We need the room to be like really dark. I know this sounds strange, but like we need the room to be dark when we like pull the curtains. Uh, so please see this room. Okay. And then okay. decide if And is there a laundry room. service here or self laundry or? Yes, we have laundry service. Okay. But, uh, if you leave your laundry right now, mm -hmm. it will be ready in the morning. That works. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I believe it's the Elon, yeah. Thank you so much. Perfect. Wow. Here yeah, we will come hours. to the reception. We're gonna see if the room is dark enough and... Okay, okay. We'll, so okay. Perfect. Thank, Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. This is a beautiful room, but man, have you seen the the face of the reception? It's like she was constantly looking at the blood stain. They're definitely talking to each other right now, asking like, what the f is going on? Laundry, darkness in the room. They were so pale. <laughs> I think it's not dark enough. And the last light, definitely not dark enough. We need more darkness. The sun is going from. Um, from. So, yeah, on the lower floor. Yeah, that would be yeah. better because yeah. the sun, yeah. So, it's the same wing. Okay. But lower floor. That's great. That's yeah, great. That's Thank you so much. I guess it's the darkest Thank you. Yeah. Oh, perfect. You're <laughs> a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. I can already see that this is going to be much better. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, we're so sorry about no, that. This is no problem. Okay. I would really like to know what they're thinking right now. This is awesome. It's so dark. This is just the beginning. <laughs> okay, just a quick tour of this uh, room. Nobody's interested in that. Kitchen. It's, it's beautiful. Like, what can you expect? Really nice. Really nice, really dark. Okay, nobody's interested in this, so... Uh, what the f*** are you doing, blood? Let's move on to our next challenge, and that is bringing our bloody laundry to the reception. They're probably not calling the police yet, but I think they're definitely talking with the hotel manager about us. I have the fake blood here. Let's just add more blood, especially on those trousers. We don't know what's going on. We're just two friendly vampires. That's still subtle, but uh, alarming. That's what we want to achieve. Subtle, but alarming. All right. I don't think that something's gonna happen right now because I'm just gonna bring the clothes to the reception and leave, but uh, you always have to be prepared. All right, let's go. 
Did I make it on time with the laundry? Yes. Perfect, perfect. So I filled everything. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be ready tomorrow? Yes. Okay, no, perfect. Nine, ten o'clock. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the people around the reception are probably a bit scared right now. Who's not scared are the people around the restaurant. And we are starving. So we're about to hit the restaurant and order some food. And trust me, vampires don't eat regular food. <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Do you have a, a wine list? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's order the most expensive okay. glass of wine so they would think that we're honorable, normal guests. This one, Pinot Noir from New Zealand. That's the okay. most expensive one. It costs 10 euros per glass. Fuck me. Hello. Hello. Hi. So uh, we would like to have um, two glasses of the Pinot Noir. Of course. And. Uh, what do you want to eat? For me, I'd like to have a raw deer tartare. Okay, I don't have for that one, but I can have the kitchen. Ah, can okay. you have it? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Okay. But uh, I also recommend the chopped beef. It's also like the tartare. Beef? Chopped beef. Chopped, chopped beef? beef. That's okay, so let's try it. Okay. Can I ask you, did you put the garlic inside of this meal or not? I don't like garlic. Yeah, if it's the possible to... Yeah. Maybe the fermented, but let me check. Can you yeah, please. Yeah, okay. Can you check it? Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Yeah, garlic's not good for vampires. And then the, there are also no crosses in our room. That's great. The special request worked. No crosses and no garlic. At least I didn't smell any garlic in our room. 100% with up to garlic. Okay. Oh, no, perfect. So that's good. Okay, and for me, I'd like to have the beef tenderloin. First. Um, can it be like, you have like raw, medium? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Um, can I have it like almost raw, like really bloody? Bloody. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and does it come with a, with like a demi glaze sauce from the squeezed blood? It's gonna be probably on the side, but... Okay, that's, that's okay. fine. That's okay. fine. Okay. So that's good. That's okay, it. That's all. And also no garlic, please. It would literally kill me if you put garlic there. So two chopped beefs? No, just one chopped beef. Just for me, yeah. And one beef tenderloin. No garlic, okay. please. So that's all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would really like to be inside the head of this guy. Why are these two pale fuckers wanting everything bloody with no garlic? Is it good? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So they brought us bread and olive oil. We're not touching this. We just want our blood. What do you What do you think about this hotel so far? It's good. Looks really <coughs> luxurious. Everything is clean. The stuff is very pleasant. Pleasant. Not ple pleasant. Yeah, pleasant. The stuff is very yeah. pleasant. Your English is getting better. Also, you're because I'm watching more English porns. Oh, and you, you watch more English porns. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This looks fucking amazing. Fuck me. That's fucking raw. That's not rare. That's raw. Each vampire or cannibal would be satisfied with this. Is it safe to eat meat this raw? We'll see. Maybe you can get a corn. Cheers. I'm gonna start eating it like a fucking vampire. This is super uncomfortable, but I have to do it. Are they watching? No. Do not disturb. We cannot be disturbed right now because we need to prepare the set for one of the most uh, bizarre and most stupid 
things yeah. we've ever done. We're gonna order two Bloody Marys to our room. We have no clue who's gonna bring them, but the person who will come with the cocktails will open the door. It's gonna be a complete darkness in this room. There are gonna be 40 candles lit here. There are gonna be bad sounds playing in the background. So the bad sounds... Oh yeah. And me and Vladimir are gonna dress in black robes. So it's gonna look like some kind of demonic ritual of two vampires. We will try to, to invite the person over and we will need the person to uh, bring the cocktails here in the, to the middle of the room. What happens afterwards, we have no clue. So why is this scene so demanding and why do we need to be extremely fast afterwards? No matter what happens, the person who will see this madness, these, let's say, incantations, will definitely say it to the hotel manager or to someone or to police, whatever. This is just not normal. It is legal, but it's not normal. We will have probably like one minute to extinguish all the candles. Then we need to put all the candles, dispose them into the rubbish bin so that the smoke detector won't go off. We do this, we undress ourselves, so we're back to our normal selves after this, just in case the hotel manager would be here in like 30 seconds. We would turn all the lights on and the room would look completely normal. So we would be like, no, nothing happened, there was no ritual here. What the hell are you talking about? And after that, we need to call our two friends that are waiting for us outside the hotel in a very special car with a very special item. I have no clue how, how the receptionist or the staff will react, but it is still kind of legal to do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Let's do this. I'm, I'm so stressed. I'm, I'm extremely nervous. Hello, this is room uh, D01. Uh, can we order two Bloody Marys? Okay. When can you bring them to us? Mm, I think uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We're gonna wait for you here. Thank you so much. And the thing is, we're not gonna scare the person that comes. We're, we're gonna act normally. We're normal vampires. Like, I'm, I'm sweating, my palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. I think we should start locking the, finding the candles. Don't forget the cape. The cape. So we're waiting uh, at the reception for two guys, two of our friends that are coming. They are dressed in the similar uh, black robes and they're bringing 
and coffin. We're gonna try to pass the reception uh, with the coffin. I have to go because they're gonna be here any second. Come here, guys. Come here. Thank you so much. Yeah, right here. Right here, please. Yes, uh, and now to the right. Uh, yeah, we we'll live here. So I can open the room for you. All right, you can drop it here. We just passed the reception. We have a coffin in our hotel room. Nobody said anything. And the receptionist was there with another guy and they were just looking and they didn't say anything. Okay, let's just grab Vlad and analyze the situation because we we really didn't expect this to happen. I cannot believe this. We ended up in our hotel room with a f coffin. Can we actually upgrade this somehow? What should we do so they, they notice? I have no idea how to confront them and what should we confront them with? Because this is what we kind of wanted to achieve. Like, the concept of this video is if they're the best reviewed hotel, we should be able to do these things without them prohibiting us to do it. I have no clue where to go now and what should we say to the receptionist or the hotel manager or the restaurant manager. This was highly unlikely and we didn't expect this, so we have no idea what should we do now. So, uh, since we didn't get any reaction, we just cannot end the video like this in a, in a boring way. We decided to do one last crazy thing. This wasn't planned. We just came up with it right now. I'm gonna go to the coffin, they're gonna close it, and they're gonna bring me in front of the reception. And we'll see if they finally react. We just need to have a reaction right now. I Like, the best reviewed hotel cannot have a dead body. <laughs> in front of all the guests and that's when I'm gonna confront them with uh, with everything and nothing as well. I will also carry a phone so when someone <laughs> opens the coffin I'm gonna be like hey did you know you were at the best reviewed hotel and I'm gonna be holding the phone and I'm gonna be confronting them while laying down. <laughs> like what the hell? Oh this is so fucking claustrophobic. <laughs>
Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. The, okay. Now you can for someone. Yeah. Hi. Yes, I'm fine. Do you know that you're the best reviewed hotel in Poland? Yes, we know it perfectly, but we cannot be here, okay? okay I'm, I'm so sorry about everything I did. And you're laughing. How can you be laughing? You're smiling. How's that know. possible? Because you're alive. Okay, can we take it? Of course, of course, like, you know, of course, of course. Okay. We're gonna be back in like one minute. We're gonna talk. Okay, um, can we talk just for a while? Were you here at the beginning when we came at like 3 p.m.? No. That was your no. colleague? Yes. That was your colleague? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't know what happened before? Probably. Okay, so because we came here and we were covered in blood just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. And we had the most absurd requests. Like, we got a room that was on the fourth floor. I have a yeah, and like the staff here was just so amazing, really, really amazing about all our requests. Like we went to the restaurant and we ordered like raw steak and we had the most absurd requests. We paid with blood, like with the blood on our bills and nobody said anything. And then we came here with a coffin and you were here, right? When we first arrived yeah. with the coffin and you, you thought it was a joke. Exactly. If we stayed there for like uh, till morning, you wouldn't say anything. We were allowed no, to... No, I asked my colleague to take it away. Like... No, not here, in our room. Because ah. we brought the coffin into our room. Yeah, I know, but you can do everything in the room. That's I the mean... thing. That's, what we, that's the concept of the show. Like, we can do it. It is legal, right? Till, and you... till you don't disturb another person. Of course, I mean. of course. This is why we're the best room in the hotel. Like this is ex like we didn't expect this. In theory, you should be able, you should be fine with it, and that's what we're trying to do. We like doing things that are legal but super weird and super bizarre. Okay. And you acted exactly like you should. Can I? Can I just shake your hand? Like this is why we're the best room in the hotel. This is incredible. <laughs> this is exactly that. what you should do. Hats off. <laughs> Hats off. And um, what about your colleague that brought us the, the cocktails? Do you know about that? No, not really. Is she here? It was a little bit. Excuse me. Can we talk with the blonde server? The girl. Is she here? Julia. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Peter. Julia. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, just one question. Yep. You came to our room and you saw everything. Yeah. What were you thinking? Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> but there were like bats playing in the yeah, background <laughs> and we were having these uh, black uh, costumes. <laughs> so you just, no reaction. <laughs> because it's kind of legal. We can do that in our room, right? Okay, yeah. So you had no reaction and that's what we're testing. We're actually filming a show and you did exactly what you should do. So can I just shake your hand? That's that's brilliant service from, from the staff, also from you. Thanks. Thank you. Like, well, keep being you. You're fucking amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. You. Bye bye. We're not gonna do any more crazy <laughs> stuff. You can sleep well. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's Are you kidding me? Just present for us. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be from the Sherry, and it's one of the best here, so. So, this is Sherry? Yes. Cheers! Na zdravie! How do you say that in Polish? Na zdravie? Na zdravie! Na zdravie is the same. To the best reviewed hotel in Poland, H15 Boutique. You're, uh, you're here by a car, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that Don't care, it's Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you're the best. Okay, um, I think uh, we should call it a day. And uh, I'll see you with some final summary and some final words tomorrow. So we're about to check out from uh, the best reviewed hotel in Poland and they just brought us the, the bloody clothes which are not bloody at all, they're completely clean. Well, what can you expect from the best reviewed hotel in this country? Let's leave. 
Wow, really didn't expect H15 Boutique to be so vampire friendly. This hotel showed us that the well-being of their guests is their absolute priority and therefore I can't give it anything but 5 stars. It also shows that Polish people are kind of fun which makes us excited to shoot more episodes here. If you like this episode give it a thumbs up and please let us know in the comments below what other annoying things can we do in other establishments. Thanks for watching and do widzenia!